Hi everyone, welcome to Tuesdays at 2 with Sharon Brennan, Cottage Lane Stamper. If you're out there, give me a wave, let me know. I'm trying to find myself on my tablet here. Hope you're all doing well. There we go, I made it. So, anyway, Tuesdays at two. <sighs> Hi, whoever you are. <laughs> I see someone's out there. <laughs> um, give everybody a minute to um, log on. Today, um, Stampin' Up kicked off their great year end clearance sale for the. Um, August to December mini catalog. Let me see if I can get the front of it here. This one here. So it goes from August, from August, from today, December 8th. Hi, Vicki. Um, until January 4th, 2001, same day that the catalog ends. So if there's something you've had your eye on, um, order it now. Shipping is delayed and also supplies are limited. So um, if you see something that you like, make sure you get your order in quickly. Um, shipping is about two to five days now before it leaves Stampin' Up. So um, it's taking, usually when I would get my order in, like on a Tuesday, I'd have the order by the next Tuesday. But um, right now during Christmas and with so many people shipping, especially during COVID, um, delays are happening so anyway and uh, you can find that under the clearance section if you go to shop or where else let's see or just type on the mini catalog too and everything um, should be discounted there'll be like, little sales markers too so anyway um, today I'm going to feature a couple of things from the sale catalog one of it is this um, you can see that it's the red I'm using the red foil. There's red and green foil. Yeah, I think we get two sheets of each. Yep. And it's 12 by 12. Beautiful. Um, beautiful foil paper. I love to use foil. And then also I'm going to be using um, something from the Wonder of the Season Suite. I know it's backwards. But I'm going to be featuring Wonder of the Season um, DSP. This one here. And it's, it's so much fun. It's, it's foil on one side and printed on the other. And I'll bring some of the sheets in. I'm going to put my camera down so I can show you what it looks like. And see how well we aim here. My camera will catch up. So this is some of the paper. I don't know if you can see this. Um, I've used some of this, obviously. <laughs> so this is not, this is one of the sheets, but um, it's not cut from the same piece, obviously. So anyway, it's got some cute little um, images and sayings, like old advertisements. And there's recipes, Mrs. Claus's cheese fondue. Petit gâteau au chocolat pour nos nord. Um, the recipes are in French there, and there's some that are in German because this is available in French and German, the stamp set. And then there's poems on the other side. Here's, and here's a whole sheet of it in gold foil, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I wasn't sure how to use this, to be honest with you, because um, they don't really fit like a card size, except for the small ones. But I think for scrapbooking, if anybody scrapbooks, these would be great for a background. And then this is all just um, like a story in gold foil. And then there's some of the recipes and articles on the back. And this is the same in the gold foil. Same as the red. And then this one has more like a, a story thing on the back and this is one I'm using today so anyway I think it's just beautiful I love 
um, paper that's got foiling on it. So that is that. And I'm also using the Playful Alphabet dies. Um, I've been eyeing these for a while. And um, I'm going to use them, I think. I'm going to try to get back in my scrapbooking a little bit with my grandsons, um, the three of them. I have a book for each of them that I'm going to make. But this is the card that I came up with. So um, it's using some of that background DSP as a DSP some of the DSP as a background, and then I've got the alphabet um, ho 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 in um, the foil, the red foil, and then this is some of the sheer ribbon that's in the catalog, and also before I forget, because things just kind of fly through my mind, um, there's a retiring list out there, and there's the carryover list, and if you're part of the Facebook group page um, that you're viewing me on, you can find those lists in the, the file section. So um, anyway, this is a card we're going to make. And I thought it turned out pretty cute. <laughs> anyway, so that is it. We're going to start out. Let's see. I think we'll start out with our base here, which is a piece of uh, real red cardstock. That's five and a quarter by four. And then I cut out a part of the um, DSP. And this is five by five by three and three fourths and we're just gonna see if I can find my do 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 my snail it's not snail anymore I had it here yesterday oh I know where it is I was gonna do a different card but not everything in the card was um stamping up so I decided I didn't want to make it difficult show you something that you wouldn't be able to order so we're gonna just put some adhesive on the back here oh and this is in script isn't that pretty anyway I get distracted easy and we're just gonna center that on here and then um, I'm gonna put my bow on there right away so I've got this it's real red sheer ribbon, and I should order some more of this because I, I think I did actually. I love this ribbon. It's so festive and soft. And I'm going to bring my 10 second bow maker in here and leave a little extra to go around the corner. And I like this because the bows don't pull apart <laughs> and it goes together pretty quickly. So we're just going to cut off. I left about a, I don't know, a two, two, three inch tail there. So I can wrap it around. We're gonna take that off. And we're just gonna put a little bit of our stampin' seal on the back. Get it started. And if this um, stampin' seal, I'm not sure why, but everybody mentions the same thing. Um, you have to kind of start it with your fingers sometimes, so. Not sure why that is. Maybe they'll get a fix for it. And then I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And we'll just burnish that score line a little bit. Makes the card lay down a little bit flatter. And we'll put some more stamp and seal in the back. This card is very quick to, to put together. And um, how many of you out there have gotten your cards in the mail yet? I have not. I was going to start on it today. And I print my own stamps off of a Dymo printer. And I ran out. And I have to use a certain kind. And they're not going to ship for another four or five days. So um, I may have to go to the post office and buy some stamps, actually. <laughs> I haven't done that in years. And then we are going to... I've already pre-cut my... Um, little ho ho hoes. So I've got three H's and three O's. And there is a difference too here between the O and the zero. So the zero is more um, oblong. And I'm still not sure. I wonder which way the um, O is supposed to go. I haven't decided because there's one side that's a little bit wider than the other. 
So um, I don't know if it really makes that much difference. I'm just kind of anal that way. Anyway, we've got those. And then we're going to use some um, of the foam strips. As you can see, I'm running out here. And I'm just going to cut a little piece for each one of the sides of the letter. So it's just wide enough to fit for the H. Just have to get it really centered there. I'll cut off a few pieces here. And I love how it just pops out like that. It just makes it more interesting than I, I mean, you could glue them down flat too. And if you wanted to, you could um, cut dimensionals, but these foam strips work really well. So, and I had decided, I don't know, I was thinking about putting exclamation marks because there are those in the, um, die set and I just decided not to I guess but this seem this seems a little bit wider this one side it just seems a little bit wider than the other on the O's so I'm gonna try and put those there and I've already gotten Christmas cards in the mail. I'm really behind this year. I'm just too busy doing I don't know what. Well, I do. I made some more matchbook lifesaver books for our church for the blood drive. So that kept me busy. And Oh, I had a, somebody order 80 of my nugget sleeves that they saw on Etsy. 80 sleeves, so that took me a while to make. So now we're just going to peel off the backing, and I just kind of eyeball this, but um, if you wanted to bring in a ruler, you could do that and just kind of line, square up the edge. And I'm going to come about a half an inch from the top, I think. Maybe I'll go this way, half inch from the top. And kind of stagger them a little bit. I don't know if the ruler is helping me or not. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so there is. I think I'm going to go this way with the wider part at the top and the narrower parts. If you guys have any suggestions as to which which way is the proper way, wider at the top or wider at the bottom, let me know. I haven't a clue. And here's the other H. And these are all going to turn out a little different every time I do this because of the spacing. Let's see. There. And another H here. This other card, I put the letters down first and then the ribbon. And this time I decided to do the other way around just to um, make sure I had room for my ribbon at the bottom. There. Ho, ho, ho. I love that. And then I think we're going to, let's see, we're going to put some of these Wonderful gems. I just love these. I only, as you can see, just have a few left. And they have a little bit of um, gold glimmer or glitter inside of them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous and so festive for Christmas. And I don't know if this card actually needs more than that. But, you know, you got to have some bling, right? And I'm going to put, I think I'll put this one over here. Just because that's where the, because where the, um, what do you call it? Printing is missing, or where there isn't any printing. 
and we'll put that one there. So that's it. It's our card. Very easy, very quick. Um, the die cutting, of course, I did that ahead of time. And then I'll stamp a sentiment in here later on with the stamp set. Um, I haven't decided which one, but I just thought this was so easy and quick to do. And I'd like to know how you like it, if this is something that you would make. So, and I'm back. <laughs> I'll um, post the supplies on my um, blog for you and the dimensions. And um, so, anyway, that's it for today. And remember the sale starts today. And if there's something you have your eye on, make sure you uh, hop on and get it ordered right away. So thank you for stopping in. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Take care. God bless. Bye.